go first feed the meal. These are the pellets that I feed. They're very good. And then the female. He's getting ready already. And I just gave the meal a little bit too less, so I give him now with accent. Spiky! Spiky! <laughs> Such a good catch. Here you go. And that's uh, perfect. So there's some room between the two. And the bitch is now not eating from the uh, football of the male. And the other way around, they have their own tranquility, their own feeding bowl and uh, water bowl. Hope this helps. As you can see, they really enjoy it. And they can also very friendly. You can just put your finger in, it's not a problem. You can take even feet out, as you can see, uh, not a problem. Same with the female. Very friendly dog. Do not recommend it with your own dogs or other dog breeds or other individual dogs, but they are very friendly. I like them, the, like them this way. So this video is about feeding your Petrodel Terriers. As you can see, these dogs are fit, good muscle definition, but they are also not fat. And if you keep your dogs too fat, they will, yeah, just be less functional. They will have easier way of overheating. Best because they are dark colored, they will have less speed, less uh, endurance, and will also have bigger chance of injuries. But this is a very hard and sturdy breed that normally doesn't get injuries that easily. But the additional weight when they are transferring uh, their weight to another direction will also put an additional strain. Also they will enjoy life a lot more when they are fit, strong, muscled. You can also see that their coat is uh, shining. This is in my opinion how these dogs should be. If you take them too lean, this is a detrimental effect because you will take away their um, muscle mass and also take away their uh, ability to cope. So for example, when they are not able to eat, you know, so they are horny. For example, the male has, uh, yeah, has sniffed out a bitch in heat and she, he does not want to eat. Or they get uh, yeah, sick from something. They are, for example, poisoned. Or they have uh, yeah, eaten something wrong while yeah, just running about they have little uh, amount of leverage or leverage remaining so they don't have reserves they can drive on and come back again to full health so that's something that i would recommend and normally i give my dogs uh, when they are growing of course a lot more feet when once they are mature I think you can uh, if you give very good feed, you can feed them once a day and then give them some treats or uh, fresh meat on the other time point. So normally I give them pellets once a day and it's also good for their metabolism that they know when they get their food and act upon that. So the digestive system is already prone before they get to their uh, their food. Also, give them uh, their feet separately. They are able to uh, walk to each other's feeding bowls, but I keep them quite uh, separated in distance. So there's like 10, 15 meters between them. And I also try to give the male first. Why? Because the female think she uh, can just get away with murder so to say so he tries to eat out of his bowl and he's quite an easy chap so he's not going to uh, be difficult with that also with us we can just put our hand in the feeding bowl and the children as well I don't recommend this for uh, 
people because sometimes dog can be uh, food aggressive. They just want to protect their uh, livelihood and feet. And it's not something that I like in dogs, but I just tell you that uh, it might not be safe with any breed or any specific type of uh, dog within the breed to be uh, messing with their feeding bowl. But with these dogs that I have, I can do that easily, or an entire family can easily do that. They're so good with humans. But they're also, that male's quite tolerant of the female eating out of his feeding bowl as well, and the other way around too. But I give the male first because I think he should be the highest in hierarchy, and he is the strongest, of course, that he is very kind to the female does not change that. So there some people think that the dog that is um, let me say this. Right. Hi. The dog that is the most uh, yeah how do you say this? We say in uh, in Dutch brutal so it could be cheeky. So the one that uh, tries to get away with everything is the most dominant dog, I don't think so. I think the male world will easily deal with the female if he would like to. But he, he does not, he's very tolerant of uh, bitches and pups. And this is a great thing in my opinion. But still he gets his feet first and then the female gets uh, her feet. If I do it the other way around, the female try to gulp everything in as, as soon as possible and then try to get to the dog's feet. So she she learns that she needs to wait and to listen and he gets his feet first and then I walk over to her bowl and give her her feet. And that works uh, wonders here. So this is something that you need to take into consideration. Of course there could be different situations if you have a dog that is uh, very old. The feet consumption could be a little bit uh, less because they are less active. If they are pregnant, of course, they need a lot more or they are lactating, they need a lot more because they also are caring for other uh, dogs inside of them or that they are lactating too. So that makes uh, quite a big difference. Also, if you be fa are very active, like I am with the dogs, they need more feet than when they are just uh, couch potatoes, which I do not recommend, especially with a working breed like this. I like active dogs, healthy dogs. As you can see, completely shining coats. Very happy dogs, always pulling, even in the heat. It's now 30 uh, plus degrees Celsius in the Netherlands. They're walking on a hot asphalt. They can also walk in the grass, as the female is doing now. And they're still pulling because they are fit and they are willing to. Of course, I wouldn't recommend uh, to walk the dogs over the asphalt, but they choose now themselves to do so, as you can see, especially the male is doing. And he can go on the grass whenever he wants to. Now I pull him to the grass and he goes uh, to the other side now, where he's walking over the grass, which is a lot cooler. But I just demonstrated that they are very, yeah, fit. Smelling a bit. Okay. Three roaming dogs.
Mikey. Mikey? Nay. No.